Choosing your blog post template is one of the most important decisions when it comes to building your website. In fact, the reason you probably have your website in the first place is to be a host and a hub for all of your content that has to do with your business and in your niche. And in this video, I'm going to cover two main parts. Part number one, we're gonna deconstruct different blog post template types. We're gonna go over an online course and content site, an affiliate marketing site, and a coaching and services based website. And part number two of this video, I'm going to show you the ins and outs of Thrive Theme Builder when it comes to building your blog post template. Here we go. This is Colin from Thrive Themes back with another video and let's dive right into example number one and start deconstructing it. Here we have his nerdfitness.com. This is one of their standard blog post templates and I'm just gonna go over the obvious things that stand out here. So the main goal of this entire blog post is to get you to become a raving fan, a raving loyal customer and consumer of his content. And the reason why I can obviously tell this is there's no banner ads, there's no pop-ups, there's not a lot of crazy stuff going on. The main goal is to get you to become a fan of the content and join the email list. So you see here in the sidebar has joined the rebellion to opt in for one of their free giveaways. And it's telling a story of a transformation. But as you go down in the sidebar, I also notice it's just promoting the content. He's not promoting other affiliate products via images or text. It's just his other high quality content. And as we go through here to the bottom, it's pretty similar. At the bottom here, we have a call to action button for learning about their coaching services. And they also have another option to join their email list. This one's very clear. They're not trying to take you anywhere. This is great for someone who has A, an online course, or does very small one-on-one -on -one coaching. This is a perfect site for you. You want this to be an affiliate site where you have maybe Amazon products or other physical and products that may require images. This probably isn't the best template for you. So let's move into example number two now and we'll get into another post template type. Example number two is going to be from jamesclear.com. Let's take a look at this blog post he has about ultralight travel. And I wanna point out a few major things that are happening in this blog post. One is the alignment. So the last one we looked at had everything to the left with a sidebar on the right hand side. With this one, everything is center aligned and it has what I like to call a clear contrast. White background, very dark text. This is incredibly easy to read. There's no frills, nothing fancy going on. This is about readability and the content itself. Now you may be thinking, what, this may not be good for an affiliate site. Here's where it is. The images of his blog post are incredibly clear and large and the links are very prominent. All of his links are bright blue and he just wants you to read the content, become a fan of the content obviously, but ultimately click on these links, like take his advice and go to these different affiliate links. And as we go down to the post, there's no other call to action. It's just content. There's no email pop-ups, Google ads, banner ads, none of that. It's very streamlined. So this is a great post template to use if you are writing about a certain topic and you wanna promote other affiliate products and you really just wanna be a source of information. This really isn't great if you wanna offer services, it doesn't show enough about you, and there's really no call to action to join their email list. There's nowhere on here where you can find his email list, a free giveaway, PDF, or anything like that, which isn't good if you're trying to sell an online course or one-on-one -on -one coaching service. Our third example is going to be from a site called siegemedia.com, and this is a service-based business, but let's break this down here, and this one has some pretty interesting things happening. First off, we have a very large headline and a call to action before the content. So before the first actual word of the content, there's a call to action to subscribe to the blog. That tells me right away, conversions and getting email subscribers is more important than just raw readability and building raving fans. And as we go down the post, there's already call to actions. Very full sidebar, joining to see how their services work, their videos, podcasts, so on and so forth. So they're promoting their content, their courses, their products right off the bat. And as we go down here, very readable, so easy to use, but you'll still see tons of call to actions. Here's a free download. As we go down even more, we're gonna see more sign up today. And this repeats itself over and over again. Take a look at the bottom of this post. It has a very clear call to action paragraph here to finish it off, promoting their content marketing and all their other services, as well as another strong call to action. Subscribe to the blog or go to their YouTube channel. It keeps going. It has a, the author bio, this is actually the CEO of the company, explaining a little bit about who he is and their company, and then it just keeps going. Download our free guide, related posts, and then an entire bottom section is dedicated to getting someone over to their contact 
and their services information page. So if you're a service provider, it doesn't matter the niche, it could be SEO, paid advertising, even things outside of digital marketing. This is a great template to model. It's awesome at promoting your services, your content, and building your, your, your subscribership, whether that's via email or getting people to fill out a contact form. This isn't great for someone that's just trying to sell maybe a one-off course, one-off coaching, or an affiliate site. There's so much emphasis here on lead collection, which isn't always the best strategy for affiliate marketing and things of that nature. That's where you're gonna to wanna to use this site as in a service-based business, particularly digital marketing services, obviously. At this point in the video, we've broken down three different types of blog post templates, whether you're selling an online course, coaching, service, or even an affiliate site. Now is the fun part. We're gonna get into Thrive Theme Builder, and I'm gonna show you how to navigate it when picking your blog post template, how to edit any kind of template you choose, and all the other features that are built into Thrive Theme Builder when it comes to building your blog posts. When first getting started with Thrive Theme Builder, you're gonna be in the setup wizard. And this is going to be the first thing when you're building your site with Thrive Theme Builder. If you're not sure about how to get here or how to set up your site from maybe brand new, a blank WordPress install, we have a video about how to build a conversion focused website from scratch. It's gonna be linked below. So I encourage you to check that out if you're curious about the setup wizard and other aspects, but we're gonna jump right in starting at the single blog post. So once you're picking your blog post template, a couple of things that are, I would say, best practices to have in mind. Number one is make sure you have dummy content on your site. You can use a plugin like FakerPress or just use a Lauren Ipsum generator to get some content in, throw in some random images. It's tough to pick a template when you have no content. It's gonna look a little bit off with just the Hello WordPress post. You're gonna need a little bit more than that. If you're already coming from an existing site, no problem, you're gonna have your content. But we already have some dummy content kind of baked in here. And to choose a different template, you can go up here to the top and choose between many different kinds. So I have one that I've saved. We have simple text, box post, narrow post, and a standard post. So for this, I'm just gonna go with the narrow post content just to make it easy. Once you have it selected, you want to obviously choose the template and there we go, it's saved. Next step is going to be actually changing and editing that template. In order to do that, you navigate to the templates section within the setup wizard. Once you're at the template section, this is where you can access all of your blog post templates. So here we have it. You have the option to either preview it, you can rename it, and an awesome part is you can duplicate it. So if you want to play around and have some new designs, maybe even run some split tests, you can easily duplicate this template and make edits without losing the original version. For this example here, we're just gonna go right into editing mode. Once you get into editing mode, I wanna point out a couple of things, kind of a Thrive Theme Builder 101, if you will. And let's go look at the main options here. And this is gonna be the easiest way to navigate different parts of not just the blog post template, but all of Theme Builder. You have the header, top, the content here in the middle, bottom and footer. And you can easily navigate through the entire layout of your site and the blog post template in this case by going here. So top's gonna move you there. Bottom, down to the bottom of the post, footer, so on and so forth. You get the point. But this is really important to remember when you wanna make sure what's selected and what you're editing. The next thing I wanna point out is what's called visibility. Let's navigate to the bottom section here. And let's say for your blog post template, you didn't wanna have a call to action. This was just an affiliate site like the jamesclear.com example. You kinda of want a minimalist feel to it. Well, you don't have to delete it from every single blog post template or get rid of it entirely. What you can do is turn off the visibility. And in this case, you just need to make sure that in the breadcrumbs, the correct section is highlighted. So here we have the bottom section chosen. And here you can just uncheck visibility, it's gone. That's it, so you can recheck it here, here it comes back and off it goes. So you don't have to delete anything, worry about the margins and padding. It's gonna automatically readjust, which is an awesome feature we have built in across Thrive Theme Builder, and it makes editing different parts of your blog post template really efficient. Now let's get into the fun part of editing your blog post template. This is the part when you think of a blog post, you're probably, this is where your brain goes, what you read and where the content actually lives. And with Thrive Theme Builder, you just need to click on the content section, and everything within here is editable. So you can edit this and it's gonna take effect across the entire template. You don't have to go to individual posts. Everything is editable right here. We can change the width of the post content. Navigate here, where now we have max pixels set in the template, but I can even bump that up here. So 800 pixels, anything in between, 900, already wider. You get the point. So we'll put it back down around where it was, about 650. There you go. 
You can even change the social sharing. You can change the padding. I wouldn't recommend that we have everything set up, but you can change anything in here. You can delete an icon if you want to, add new icons in, change the size of the font for your blog post title. You can change the size, the type, and all this is gonna change dynamically across all of your different blog posts that are using this specific template. The next thing I want us to take a look at is the post list element. And this is a very common practice at the bottom of blog posts. So if you wanted to include links to other pieces of content on your blog, you can easily edit it here. Select the post list, you can change how it looks. So here we have two columns across, but we can easily change it to three or four in this case looks pretty good. And the great part about this is it doesn't just take effect here, it's obviously in the rest of the blog post, but if we take a look at what it looks like on other devices, it automatically changes depending on the size. So tablet and mobile, they're gonna all stack vertically like this. We've done the heavy lifting. We figured out the margins, the padding, the spacing, the responsiveness, all the heavy lifting is done. You can focus on building a site you feel confident with. You don't have to be a web designer. If you are, even better. But you're able to make the site that you've always wanted to build and the templates you wish you would have had very quickly and a lot easier than before. There's a few more things I wanna mention when it comes to building your blog post templates within Thrive Theme Builder. Quick point number one is if you wanna delete anything, it's really easy. You literally just highlight the element you wanna delete and press delete. Everything's gonna size up accordingly. You don't have to worry about adjusting the padding or margins. You're good to go. Quick point number two is knowing the difference of Thrive Theme Builder and our other product, Thrive Architect. Now, the products work incredible together. In fact, if you have Thrive Theme Builder, I am strongly encourage if you don't already have it, get Thrive Architect. It makes it even better than it already is. But we've done the liberty of putting what we call Architect Lite into Thrive Theme Builder itself. And how you can tell the difference is right here. Here, it's gonna instruct you to navigate over to Thrive Architect. So let's say you try to change the inner content. If I double click here, which I'm doing, it's gonna tell me to switch over to Thrive Architect if I want it edit the inner content. So the actual dynamic blog post content is done within Thrive Architect. And if I wanna change something to the template, so think of it as a box. Here we have is our inner content. And outside the inner content, you're gonna have things of your template. That's gonna be the social sharing, that's gonna be the date here, the number of comments, and it's also going to apply to the author box and the post list item at the bottom. So that's gonna be here done at Architect Lite on this side. but we're always gonna tell you when you're gonna be in Thrive Theme Builder versus Thrive Architect. And the third and final quick point I wanna mention is responsiveness. We've taken care of the responsiveness on every single edit. So it doesn't matter if you're changing the featured image, the title, the social sharing, the post list, it doesn't matter. We've taken into account that you're gonna to wanna to play with things, tweak things, and we wanna make sure it looks good, not just on desktop, but when someone's on their tablet or on their phone, we've made sure the sizing and spacing is correct on every breakpoint. The goal of this video was to give you a higher level view of different blog post template types, how to deconstruct them, and how to navigate, edit, and use Thrive Theme Builder when it comes to building your blog post templates. If you want a more over-the-shoulder, comprehensive step-by-step, -step, we are coming out with lots of tutorials, and depending on when you're watching this video, there may already be Thrive University courses showing you every little detail when it comes to building your site within Thrive Theme Builder. If you're new to Thrive Themes, make sure to head on over to thrivethemes.com slash theme builder to learn more about the product, and always subscribe here to the channel to get more information about our products, new releases, and everything to do with Thrive Themes. And last but not least, leave a comment down below. I'm gonna be reading every single one of the comments below this video, and I wanna get ideas for videos. I wanna know exactly what you guys wanna see, what would be helpful, and everything else. Again, thanks for watching and stay tuned for the next video.